Hey everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Beautified. Hi, my name is Corin, and welcome to Beautified, where in the next few minutes I'm about to find some unsuspecting walker by, just a regular person, and ask them some few questions that's related to makeup. Our mission is to solve some problems that everybody go through every day, whether it's concealing some darkening in the under eye area, or some certain imperfections and whatnot. Everyone have different issues with their makeup, so hopefully today, with the help of celebrity makeup artist and Emmy Award winner, Eve Pearl, we're going to be able to teach and solve some problems. So, let's go find somebody. Come on. Hi. Hi, I'm Corin. Christina. Christina, nice meeting nice you. Meet. I was wondering if you can answer a couple of questions for me. Do you have any problems applying your makeup in the morning or is there any issues that you have when you apply your makeup? Yeah, I'm, I don't have a lot of time so yeah. the concealer that I use, it kind of gets a little streaky. Ah. I'm not really, you know, I don't know too much about how to apply it. And okay. I have like dark circles under my eyes. Okay, so concealer is a problem. Yeah. And what else? How about your foundation? If you conceal, you also I have the foundation. I don't know how to use it. You really don't know yeah. how to use it? Oh my so. gosh. Well, I have something for you. How would you like to get a celebrity makeover by a celebrity makeup artist? Really? Yeah. I would love that. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. okay. She's got darkening in her eyes and her problem every day is trying to conceal that, okay? And uh, she also, she barely uses foundation because she doesn't know how to use foundation. So is there something we can do for her? Oh, of course. You are gorgeous, but when we're done with you, you're going to be... Thank you. Okay, let's get you ready. Let's get you all... Thank you. Grab her bag, we'll grab your tool. Yeah, absolutely. This will welcome. It's going to be great. Yeah. Have a seat. Welcome to the E-Pearl Studio. You are beautiful. Thank you. Okay, look at your great hair. And yeah, you know, you know why you have a problem matching um, foundation? Because you see your face and your neck, they're to start out with a little bit different colors. Like your neck, your neck is your body is a little darker, it's more tan, but clearly you protect your your face from the sun, so your face is a little lighter. So the final result we want is we want your face and the rest of your body to match. Okay. All right, so the key really is to match your face to your chest. Uh, when women do this, you know, this is really just to feel texture, not to match the back of your hand, because that's not going to work for a foundation. We're actually going to use a cream today, okay? I'm going to take the lighter color. This is how you match your foundation. Take the cream, you put it down the lower part of your face, and basically when you blend it down, when this part of your face and your neck and the rest of your body end up being the same, that's how you match your color of foundation to your face. And if you notice, there's two colors here. I'm using the lighter shade in this area because eventually we're going to also contour 
and create like this beautiful textures to your skin without covering up your face. Because I don't want to cover up your skin, I just want to make it look nice. And the way we make cream look sheer is we take a little bit of water and a sponge, and I'm basically just going to wet the sponge. Because by simply using water and wetting the sponge, we can make this cream go on as sheer as any liquid and give you great coverage in areas you need it, like a concealer. So this is like a foundation concealer. And I want you to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the foundation on before the concealer. Because sometimes when people put the concealer on first, which by the way, you will also be the medium, and I will show you how to match that in a moment. You put on the foundation first, and then you put concealer on only where you need it. All right, this is how we start out. So you look in the mirror to make sure that your face, what your face and the rest of your body look like. And you see, here is the two colors of the foundation. Why do we have two? Because your face, although a canvas, is not a mask. We want it to look, you know, to give you good shading. I'm going to take the darker part first. I'm actually going to put the darker part where the blush is, where the blush would go. So I'm going to put the darker part here. It's a little bit more opposite of how we've always been taught. I'm going to put the darker part on the top part of your forehead and also by your chin. Okay? I know it looks a little odd right now. <laughs> now, I'm going to take the lighter part with the brush, put the lighter part right underneath here. We're going to create also instant cheekbones. And a combination of the two by your nose and down here, and the lighter part right up in there. And a little bit of whatever's left over of the lighter on top of your eyelids because this is also our primer. Now, if you notice, it's sort of all sporadic. Not to worry. We're going to take a little bit more of the water and spray our sponge. Don't forget to spray the sponge because we're going to basically move your hair out the way. And I'm going to use the sponge and I'm going to go over your entire face. Because when we're done, we don't want to really see any foundation. All we want to see is just beautiful looking skin, which of course you would have naturally. Because that is really the final result that we always want to get is that natural looking, smooth skin. Do you see already how like this ends up creating like a cheekbone effect yeah. with the light? I like it. And when we're going to be done, you should never ever be afraid to touch your face, to touch your skin. Makeup should not feel like a foreign object on your face, it should feel like a part of your skin. Okay, and you see how I'm just blending it in so that we see nothing? And when you're using the HD foundation, it's like an airbrush, basically. So you can still see your skin. I want you to feel your face. So you can always rub it in with your fingers, not to be afraid to touch your face. You should never be afraid to touch your skin as though you were putting cream skincare on. Now, we look at the little area that still shows up. It's like, a, you know, our little friends that come visit us sometimes if we've eaten chocolate or during, you know. Again, I'm gonna take a combination of the two and put it just where I need it. You see, just here. And we're gonna go over it with the same sponge. And you can actually just sort of like block, like that, 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 like this, so that you're not rubbing it off too much. But have you noticed that you can't even see any foundation, yeah. that your skin just looks flawless and it's matching your neck? Now what I'm gonna take care of, the under eyes. This is of course what I'm known for, is my salmon concealer. And look at the color. Most of the time, you probably would have tried to use the light color here. Or maybe even many people use a light shade like this for a concealer. And actually, this, this is a yellow base, which is great to cover the redness that you have. If you put this yellow base on your under eyes, it's going to give you green raccoon eyes. Okay, so we use the salmon concealer, salmon color. It's like an odd color, but look what's going to happen. I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to do one eye first, just so you can see the difference. And this is the medium salmon concealer, and this is an eye treatment. So when you have too much drinking or puffiness under your eyes, it'll take care of that too. It'll actually treat your eyes. So one eye we're gonna do just so you can see the difference. And the same, you should not be afraid to touch this with your fingers. It's actually skincare, you can go to sleep in this. It's natural. And look at, look at the where, can you tell the difference? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, so we're <laughs> the way. Can you see the difference? Yeah, it's a big difference. I want you to feel it with your finger. I want you to know that everything should be smooth. So when you're applying it yourself, if you have this in, you should just be able to even dab it in with your own fingers, like dab, 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 and not to rub it. But it should be, see the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So usually I do the one side free and I have to charge you for the other side. 
But you're so cute, how can anyone charge you for anything? So we do the same thing, very little, the salmon concealer, and basically we just dab it and smooth it away. I mean, look at you, like you have nothing on, feel your skin. It's soft. <laughs> it feels like nothing, yeah. right? You could do this yourself, couldn't you? You could take the sponge and take the spray, spray the sponge, so all you do is you would take that sponge, it's wet. Even if you had this makeup on all day, you would take the sponge and you could just refresh it even with the water. And you should feel like you have nothing on. You can do this yourself. Mm -hmm. And what do we use on you? We use the medium HD dual foundation and the medium semi concealer and treatment. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna finish your whole face up now and we'll give you a little e pearl effect. <laughs> Great, thank you. Alrighty. Eve proceeded with Christina's makeover by applying natural cream eyeshadow, which is part of her Ultimate Eyes eyeshadow palette, right into Christina's main lid. Then she used a smudge-proof liquid liner pen in Black Pearl, right into Christina's upper lash line. Then using a flat brush and an angled brush dipped in rich black eyeshadow, Eve added this on top of the liquid liner to set it. Then a combination of dark brown and emerald green eyeshadows from the Ultimate Eyes Eye Palette. Eve added this to the end corner as well as the deeper crease and then blended it with a blender brush. Next, Eve sculpted and shaped Christina's eyebrows using dark brown eyeshadow and then lined her lower lash line with a black eyeliner pencil. For Christina's cheeks, Eve chose a pinkish peach color from her sassy blush trio and she used a fan brush, then proceeded right into applying a nude color gloss right into Christina's lips. Now this is a gloss combo called Baby Doll and Honey Bunny. Next, Eve applied lip liner pencil around the perimeter of the lips to give it a little bit more depth and that beautiful sexy pout. And finally, to finish the look, Eve added black mascara to Christina's beautiful long upper lashes. For her bottom lashes, the same mascara is used, but this time around, a fan brush is used to apply it. And that completes Christina's look, and now she looks like a celebrity. Hi! How's she doing? How's my Christine? Oh my goodness, look at you. Wow. She's adorable. <laughs> She's happy. She can do this She herself. is. Are you going to do yes. this every day now? Yes. Did you learn a lot today? I did, and it's easy. Yeah. That's great. Now are you going to be able to conceal properly? Yes. You're going to use foundation? Yes. Great. <laughs> so glad. Oh my gosh, look at you. So let's look at your before. And this you now. Wow. Oh my gosh. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You did a great much. job. Thank you for so finding her. Thank you. Yeah, oh my gosh. So, ready to head out yeah. and enjoy your look? Yes. All right, yeah. let's Thank go. Yeah. No, it's your thing. Watch your step there. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you. As always. As always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. See you soon. All right. Send those questions in. Will do. So, yep. our word of the day. So, you know what? It's nice making people feel good. It's not that hard. Try it. The worst that will happen if it doesn't work out, just wash your face and start all over again. There you go. Tip from the pro, celebrity makeup artist, you pearl, she knows her stuff. Catch you <laughs> next time. Thank you. Alright, thanks for joining us. And until next time, join us when we find another unsuspecting person just walking around and we'll give them celebrity makeover. Could be like you. Like pearl. <laughs> Could be you. So keep watching and do join us next time. Bye.